Hello there, right, something a bit different. As you can probably see on the screen, you can see the Jiffy DOS Commodore 64 Basic version 2. Inside a real Commodore 64, which I've got here. You'll also see a breadboard connected. That breadboard is connected to the user port using a breakout board, which I recently picked up. And I'm going to do some GPIO stuff with this. So the hello world of GPIO is to make an LED flash, so I'm going to do that. So you can see what I'm going to type in the left hand side in basic, it's all written in basic and you'll see the output in the little window, there's a slight delay to the little window because the camera is not fantastic but it does the job. So first thing I'm going to do is issue a poke, poke56579,1 which tells the GPO I want to use a specific pin, PB0, as an output and you see the LED goes off. Try and get my finger and shot. To turn on an LED, in this case PB0, I say poke 56577,1, one meaning on. LED on. And I bet you can guess how to turn it off. Poke 56577,0. And it turns off. So I've set up that pin as an output, PB0 as an output. So I'm going to do a simple bit of code. This is what I've done on a Raspberry Pi hundreds of times. So 10 print LED on. Let's not go to that. I'm thinking of the old one. 20 go to and repeat it. Poke 565.77.1. So turn on the LED. Line 30. 4 i equals 1 to 1000 so that's a for loop in this case it's going to count to a thousand before getting to the next line line 40 this creates a delay of approximately one second let's turn the LED off so 50 poke 56577,0 and that same for loop again and I keep using the shift key for the colon I don't need to and to stick it in a loop to go back to the beginning There. So line 10, print LED on so we can see it's working. 20, turn on, it, turn on the LED, 56577,1. 30 is a for loop, counts 1 to 1000 before going to the next line. 40, prints LED off. 50, turns off the LED, 56577,0. 60 is another for loop, counting to 1000. And then 17 instructs the code to go all the way back to the start. So let's run the code. LED on, LED off. And there we have an LED flashing from Commodore 64 GPIO. And now we're thinking, why am I doing this? You've got a Raspberry Pi, you've got an Arduino, you've got a Wemos D1, you've got all sorts of add-on boards that you can do stuff with. Why use a Commodore 64? Well simply because I want to. This makes basic a little more interesting than just having the 10 print, you know, hello world, 20 go to 10 then run. That sort of thing. This is more interesting to me. Anyway, I'm going to write this all for a blog post. Thanks very much.